Hi everybody, it's Candy again from Custom Queen Designs and today I am going to be sharing how to do the alcohol ink sponge technique on wine glass and on the poster. And I'm going to be using the 4x4 four four tiles, wall tiles. Are they wall tiles? Yeah, they are. Wall tiles that we've gotten from um, Home Depot. A box of 100 for $8. I don't know if it's like that at everybody's Home Depot. I've been getting some feedback online that says that it's not. Um, find them the cheapest that you can. My Home Depot had them eight cents per tile, so it ended up being eight dollars. And and there's so I think this uh, what is it four point two five by four point two five. Yep. So, so you're gonna do that, and you're gonna do that. Okay. So we're just gonna watch how she sets, you know, how she gets it, gets it set up, guys. We're gonna be painting the coasters and the um, glass. This color right here, this satin seaside, mm -hmm. rustoleum. Good old rustoleum. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's, Let's get it. Go. Let's go, y'all. Make sure I got all sides in the top, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So I'm gonna sit this down. Make sure you got somewhere, you know. And go ahead and get into this glass. Come back. We'll show you the next stage in a moment. And we're back. Hi, everybody. We're back. So we have the seaside satin seaside coasters and wine glass. All painted up and ready to go. And we are. This is this right here. What I'm using to do the sponging with this. It's a regular, this was a regular kitchen sponge. I just cut it up into pieces to use for each color. The one with the with the abrasive uh, side on it? She it just can, cut it it up. can have that. It, it doesn't have to have that. It could be one of the regular sheet sponge you get from Dollar Tree, whatever kind of sponge you want to use. Okay. This is the one I just happen to have in the house. So, I'm going to be using gold. Uh... Senorita Pink. These are pinata brand, uh, pinata color alcohol inks. I've got Baja Blue and Passion Purple. Excuse my alcohol ink containers. They've been getting a lot of work. So, and they're about to get some more. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the wine glass and I'm gonna start off with the blue. Make sure you wear gloves for this. I didn't wear gloves before. It gets sticky sometimes with the gloves. That's okay. It just saves you having to clean your hands with alcohol for about an hour. <laughs> Anybody out there watching, if you guys got any uh, good tips on, you know, good ways to remove paints and inks and things like that from your hands, clothing, anything like that, you Let know. Let sister know. Yeah. The, the, heck, <laughs> let everybody know. Throw it in, in the comments for the video so we, you know. All right, so I fully saturated the top part of the sponge with alcohol ink, and I've got to use it quickly or else it's going to dry up. The only thing I do is I grab it, and I just go in. So you're just literally dabbing down the sponge? That's all I'm doing. And this dries fairly quickly. Zoom in. Let's turn it up so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Move some of this stuff in the cricket here. Just get in the way. Okay, there you go. Okay. 
Okay, it's starting to... If you want, you can put it down now, because I got that stuff out of the way. Alright, so it's starting to dry up a little bit. I'm just going to reapply a little bit more. Just like that. And I'm going to keep going up the side. Okay. Are you going to do the stem and then stop and do one of the other colors, or are you just going to... Nope. Oh, I guess not. I'm going to huh? take this all the way up. My attempt today, and I haven't done this, I've done this technique before, of course, but I have not done, tried to do an ombre with it. So today is my ombre day. All right. So we'll be back in a second when she's on the next color. All right, so she, she kind of switched up on the fly. She just decided while she already had the blue going, let me just do some tiles. So she's going to do these four tiles really quickly. Same thing. And we'll be right back. And then I go over it with the lighter. All right. That's one layer of blue down, right? Okay. What's the next color that you're going to go to? We're going to move on to... Don't worry, I'll get that for you. Okay, we're going to move on to purple right now. Let me show them how you load it up. See, she's not completely soaking it through, but at least like the top layer maybe the top millimeter or so of that sponge, she's got it pretty saturated with the color. Right over on top of the blue. Don't worry about if it looks like it's covering it up, that's fine. Trust me, this 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 is crazy, this, this technique here, man. It's... again she'll just keep doing this like she did with the other blue color and we'll be back all right she's opening up the pink now let me apologize to you as I'm doing this because um, I said that I was supposed to be doing an ombre. And as I started doing it, I forgot. So, I'm going to do an ombre. Yeah, it's going to be this way. Okay. <laughs> so, I've got the pink on here. Interesting, the, the pink is kind of coming out looking kind of violetish. Yep. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work my way from here going up since I just did the bottom. All right, so you know what she's going to do. We'll be back. Continue. You're not finished. <laughs> Went and got some better lighting. Trying to let you guys see what's happening with these colors better. Reloading. 
you guys can see some of that pink color in there and the blue the way that I can. What's the next step gonna be? Okay, so this is alcohol ink. And a good way to start to get it to run is by using alcohol, right? So, alcohol spray bottle. I used the old salon spray bottle. I filled it halfway with alcohol. I cleaned it out first, of course, and let it dry. And all I'm gonna do is spritz the alcohol onto this cup. Ready? Mm-hmm. So even though you did say just a spritz, right? You're getting a pretty decent size cloud coming out every time you spritz. So you're probably pretty decently saturated, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is kind of galaxy. So and don't go, don't go crazy, but no, saturate, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, spray as always. You're the one that's making this, so spray to where you see fit. If you want it to be a little bit more, you want to see more of the blue underneath, keep spraying. It'll start to, if the more you spray, I would advise that you spray a little bit, let it dry in between. Because if you just start continuously spraying, it's going to start running. And then all your colors And then it all just diffuse and break down. You can, you can still fix it though. If mm -hmm. your colors start running, just grab one of your, your uh, sponges. And just start dabbing and it start again. start dabbing and it'll, it'll work. It'll fix it. Mm -hmm. It may not look originally the way you wanted it to look, but hey, it's worth a shot. You'll have a happy accident. Yeah, exactly. Because that's how I started doing these. This was a happy accident. So, um, I want some more. I'm loving the way that this started to blend in right there. In that area. Mm -hmm. Kind of galaxy-like looking. Mm -hmm. So, I want to spritz just a bit more alcohol. So... So just about now, you were talking about being able to save it, right? I know it, it's, at least it looks like it to me when I look at the comments and everything like that on our videos, it seems like a lot of people are really, really scared to make a mistake. Anything you want to say about that? Yeah. Almost every single one of these cups that I've been doing started looking like a mistake when I started it. And by the time I finished, it was beautiful. In my eyes. Um, it is the, the one thing that's so great about doing these glasses and, and the, the coffee mugs and things like that is it's forgiving. So alcohol ink, get some alcohol, clean it off, start over again if you didn't like it. You can literally wipe all of this off with it. if you have enough alcohol, you can wipe it all off and do it all over? You could wipe it off or you could just paint over it. You know, if you did it like this, you can't, of course, you're not going to be able to go get white paint. <laughs> you can't paint over this and, and mm -hmm. think that it's going to show up. It's, it's going to be just plain white. You're going to have the darkness underneath it. So if you're going to repaint it, just repaint it darker color. Repaint it black. Repaint it purple. Just spray it black. Spray it and let it dry and start over again with something different. It's forgiving. You can keep going with it. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Some of these... Uh, cups. I did one like this with the same technique 
back. And while we've been talking, wow, let me let me just show them again what's what's going on. Because even from the last time I went around the cup, stuff is changing again. Go ahead. Um, the another cup I did with the same technique. It's a uh, black and red. And uh, people ask me how how did you um how did you get it to to look like this? I originally started out, and my husband can vouch for me on this. I cut out so many on the Cricut. I've had so many cherries cut out, and I had painted the glass black, and I put cherries all over the glass, and then I painted it red, and then I wanted to peel it up. And I was going to fill in the cherries with glitter and the leaves with glitter. But as I started peeling it up, the paint started coming up with it. Yeah. Why? Because I did not seal it before I started to try to put on a decal. You always got to seal before you put on a decal or else it's going to pull your paint up. I knew that didn't fall. So when I pulled them up and I saw the paint was coming up, I just took some more red paint, went over it, sprayed the whole thing. When I resprayed it, it all started to like shrivel up and look kind of like wrinkly, weird, and it mm -hmm. dried like that. And I was like, well, I could either strip it and just start over with a blank glass, or I grabbed some black alcohol ink and, and I just a little started bit of sponge. A sponge and I started dabbing <laughs> it all over it. And when I got it looking the way that I wanted to look, I put a little bit of red on there. I added a little bit of red. Um, alcohol ink into the epoxy with some glitter and covered it up and voila, that's what it was. So you can always save something, even if it doesn't start off with the same thing that you wanted it to be. So I think I like the way this is looking so far like this. Even got my bottom looking kind of galaxy like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom a little bit for the folks. All right. It, that really is beautiful. Shoot, you could stop right now like this. You put a little bit of that clear epoxy on there like you do with that little touch of bling in there. Shoot. And then, for the tires, mm -hmm. it's gonna do the same thing. happening it's starting to break up now I spray a little bit closer on this one and that's fine because it's still breaking up the way I want it to mm -hmm. does does that um influence the technique like how how it how looks how closer how, how far close, you are yeah if you're close you're gonna get a bigger spray of alcohol which is gonna it's gonna be like more liquid directly onto it and you see what it's doing mm. and that's mm -hmm. fine that's pretty it's absolutely gorgeous so I don't have a problem with that. I'm trying to hit all the corners. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I'm gonna spray right there. And boom, there we go. We're just gonna let that keep going. I'm really liking that one in the middle. That looks cool. Yes, very. Now with the coasters, I can, I can, it's not like the glass. I can get a little bit creative with these, so. Yeah, that's really diffusing. Then I can stop it right there and leave half of it like that, and the other half will be like that. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the same way every time, you know? Mm -hmm. You can... I like that. I brought the pink out of that corner. You need to put that down. It's running right now. This basically already has it started. So I'm just gonna go. Right there. She went like point blank range on that one. And I like the way that looks. That looks so good. And I'm gonna leave that one like that. 
like that. And this one. So she's just basically gonna hit it with alcohol, let the color run the way that she wants to. Yeah, this one I to and then she'll let it dry a little bit before she goes back with the gold. And we'll be right back. Go ahead. I feel like I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. So as you can see how these turned out, I love them. I like the way it looks. I think it looks cool. I would like to do the same thing for this. And when I said I was gonna do it, my husband decided to turn the camera back on and said, tell the folks what you're gonna do to it. So <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys know I'm gonna do it. And if it comes out all bad, oh well, we'll just do something else. So here goes. Oh, I'm so What are you trying to get the paint to run from yeah, the base and come up, the, come up the stem? Oh, okay. It's happening. I'm trying to get it to run up the stem. Now. It doesn't have to do it all over. Mm -hmm. I just wanted it. You see how it's mm -hmm. on one side? It's not necessarily like that on the other. Mm -hmm. But I like the way it looks. I like that. That looks so cool. You don't think so? It does. But I could have just left it alone, huh? I mean, it would have been it, it would have been good enough for me, you know. Wow, looking at it with my own eye, and then looking at it through through, uh, through this camera screen, two different colors. See how it looks blue? Oh screen, wow! And it looks very purple, very violet, actually on the stem and the glass. All of, I'm sorry, all of this area right here that you guys are seeing looking like it's blue, that looks purple to, to us. So, should I spray it again? You're not gonna answer that, are you? You're an artiste. You're just gonna let me do my I just get out the way and record. <laughs> I'm gonna let that do its thing and then. One side. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, baby. Okay, so. You gonna let that dry now? Or? Yeah, let's, oh, look at that. That's so cool. And I know it looks like there might be white underneath, but there is no white. Yeah. There's absolutely no you, white you guys, on this you, whatsoever. You guys know exactly what color that this cup was before she started sponging. Trying to All right. So we'll be back in a little bit when the paint is drier and then we can watch her do the gold. So wait, you 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 wanted to rim those runny edges with the gold? That was your plan? That's what you had in your head? You diabolical genius? <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to do. How 
I'm guilty, y'all. Sometimes, you know, I, I, I definitely try to be a good sport, but sometimes, you know, I stand here and, and I, uh, I watch as she's working and I'm recording and in my head, I'm like, no, 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 no more. Don't hit it with more blue. No, 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 no more alcohol. Don't hit it with more alcohol. And no, 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 no. Don't let it run. That's too much alcohol. But look what the heck she did. Wow. That's just like random awesomeness. So I'm correct, you are literally just trying to outline some of your runny spots. Yeah. What's, what's cool? That's cool. By the way, she she she's uh, been blotting. Like when she reloads the the sponge with the gold, just like you saw, she does a little dab on the on the uh, on the towel first before going to the cup to the glass. You think you're so cool, don't you? No, I just well, you know what. You know what? You are pretty damn cool. Really? You like me? Yeah. You think I'm cute? Yes. You do? Yes. Thank you. I try to be. You're cute and you're clever. Okay. All right now. That's looking like something you set out to do. genius for this one man. I swear to you guys 99% of the time I have no idea which direction she's going to wind up taking like when we started this this was supposed to be something she was going to try to do some type of an ombre with alcohol ink or something like that Yeah. but uh, we, we were talking and you know sometimes you get to talking it feels good and you forget and but she darn sure salvaged this and, and made it something else just as awesome. Wow. And I just have to hit right here. And then let 
this dry and it'll be ready for epoxy. All right. So just for the uh, interest of hard drive space and rendering times and things like that, we're gonna do a part two to this when she puts it on the turner. And then we get to see her complete this wild. I mean, this looks, you, you, you guys, I know it looks good in this video, but I'm telling you, man, you're not here right now. You are not seeing all of the different color and variations that I can see with my naked eye, wow. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll come on back when she's doing the epoxy. Please remember to uh, subscribe. subscribe and continue to tell your friends about us and share the video. And, and everybody, if I don't get to your comments on the videos right away, it's probably because I'm busy. But trust me, I promise to get to them, okay? And what we'll do to try to do that is um, if she's doing something and I'm not, I'll try to pull up the comments and I'll read them. And I'll see what type of answer that she wants to give and I'll type it in there for her if she's busy. All right? Thanks for interacting with us. Thanks for watching. Thanks Thank for subscribing. You. See you a little bit.